Court. Also breaking overnight in Katy, a DPS chase leaves two troopers hurt. Those injuries so severe, one was airlifted to the hospital. KHOU's Victor Jacobo is live at the scene with the very latest. Victor, how did this incident start? Yeah, this started at 99 and peak road around 930 last night. To give you an idea of how long this investigation was going on, it happened late last night and just right before we came on the air, the last tow trucks and last officer vehicles left the scene in the intersection behind me. We're going to move a little closer a little later, but this scene really a culmination of a long pursuit that left a lot of damage and several injuries. DPS troopers say they were trying to pull over a suspect vehicle near a residence when the female driver started driving away. The suspect car had four children inside along with the driver and an adult passenger. Now throughout the incident, a suspect's car rammed into a trooper's car, a trooper's foot was run over by the suspect, and two DPS cars stopped the suspect eventually with pit maneuvers. Now another trooper was responding to the scene and went into an intersection near this area, but a semi truck appeared to have the green light and did not see the trooper and was unable to stop in time. The trooper there crashed into the semi and was flown via life flight. I'm glad that both troopers are still among the living. Uh, by the grace of good Lord, this one over here was in the intersection. There's severe damage to the vehicle in the passenger department. So I'm, I'm very thankful. I heard him talking uh, when he was in the, in the ambulance. So um, I'm, I'm just thankful. A lot to unpack throughout this entire incident. Others were also injured and were transported to nearby hospitals with varying conditions. We're hoping to get an update from DPS officials later this morning to hear on all of those conditions, including the trooper. We'll have more as we learn more this morning. For now, I'll send it back to you, Kimberly. Mm, these troopers just want to make it back home at the end of their shift. Victor Jacobo, thank you for that live report. At five